What's going on, y'all? <laughs> y'all know what time it is. Welcome to the Spark Channel, where Spark stands for smiles, pride, patience, attitude, accountability, respect, and knowledge. Hey, y'all, we got a lot going on. Check out the website, www.findyourspark.com. We're going to be putting the link, as always, in the description. So check it out, check it out, check it out, and make sure you look at the mission and vision. Um, we are really trying to take ownership of that mission and vision, and your contributions will help us in that effort. Yes. All right, y'all. Uh, before we get started, uh, podcast listeners and my our webs our YouTube viewers, yes, go get that spark bottle. <laughs> go get it. Go get it. Go get it. Um, it and stay amazing. in and stay in tune with your spark mentality, y'all. Yes. Great for coffee. Yep. Tea. Water. Coffee. Yes. Babe water. loves coffee. Yes, yes I yes, do. <laughs> she does. <laughs> and um, I honestly use it for my workouts. Yes, I, I do use too. It for my workouts. Like so. down in it. <laughs> yes. Um, yes. Can I say something real quick, babe? Man. Oh, yeah. Okay. Man, talking about uh, yesterday, <laughs> Saturday morning, Ooh. we had yeah. our jogging, walking, running club yes. at 8 a.m. Yes. Um, was amazing. It was really hot outside. Yep. Um, I don't know where y'all was at, but where we were, it was so hot. But we <laughs> made it. Um, at times, it got really, really tough, but yes. we definitely made it. We pushed ourselves harder. Man. And I think that we probably would have. Yes. Um, you know, any other ordinary day. So oh, yeah. we had Jazzy with us. Yes. So Let's it was like just a wonderful, you know, family time too. Mm -hmm. So and then our um, Jazzy pushed it out. Let's she go, did. Jazzy. Man, we were so proud of her. Yeah. It was so great. Yeah. And then um we had our church um fitness ministry and mm -hmm. that our fitness class. Man, I'm telling you right now, I'm still thinking about it. Yeah. Like today, <laughs> thinking about how it just like was really awesome. just, yeah, it changed a yep. lot of people's lives in that moment. Oh, yeah. Um, and just got people just so excited mm -hmm. and just ready to just keep going mm -hmm. and um, to continue to just like feel like they have their purpose and their path and passion. There's mm -hmm. so much passion there. Absolutely. And it just keeps us going. Yeah. I'm so excited. I'm like, yeah, hey, it can't be Saturday again. <laughs> Man, <laughs> it was just a blast yeah. though. Being able to meet more people that mm -hmm. God is trying to connect with, um, yeah. utilizing exercise as a platform. Mm -hmm. um, so going from the jog, walk, run, location into yep. our fitness ministry immediately like, we look at everything we do as a ministry by the yep. way but god has his way of utilizing uh the different vehicles or platforms to uh do what it is that he would like for yes. all of his children to do so great yep. job to everybody that's attending yes. and coming to the fitness ministry because yes. god has a plan for you Yes. And we don't want the enemy um, distracting you away from that path. So great job doing what you can do, not what nobody else could do, because we believe and we know that doing a little something is better than a whole lot of nothing. y'all. Yeah. Man. So make sure y'all go get that bottle. Make sure y'all check out the website and yeah. great job to the participants and people coming to the yep. fitness ministry. Absolutely. Check out their website. But before. We get started. I have a joke. <laughs> yeah. I can't even hide yes. back at this time. Yes. I babe. only had to do it like one time. I just, that was my Babe thing. hijacked me last, last I week. Did. But that's You've okay. Been saving this because one. Because <laughs> we, we had to, we had to save it. I actually yeah. had got a new one now. I do got you? a new okay. one versus got the you. one from last week. Got you. But that's okay. <laughs> she hijacked it. And y'all tell me if y'all could get it. Yes. But babe yes. has to get it. I had a good answer for babes last week. You did. Uh, you had a great try. I didn't but, even Google that to see if that was the thing. I yeah, bet that is. Yeah. Papa John. <laughs> but, Dying. all right, here we go. Here we go. Okay. Uh, the joke is, babe, if you don't get this one, like, <laughs> Quit. it's a no, problem. Stop it. These are easy jokes. Okay. okay. <laughs> what kind of hats does your legs wear? What kind of hats do your legs wear? Yes. Don, don, don. Oh my God, that is so annoying. Don, don, don. I can't even say it. Don, 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 
Oh my goodness. Come on, time up. It, and it's not the legs, so I would say if it was the arms, I would say like top hat. Okay. You know what I'm saying? If it was the arms, because that's good. The top hat, we buy you top hats, you know, like a big top hat. Okay. But like, ask for what kind of hats. Mm. Like that, I, babe, I, I can't. Come on. I like, I, I got You don't got an answer? You don't got none? I don't. This I can't. This is so easy. This is so ridiculous. You ready? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Kneecaps. I cannot. <laughs> oh my god, babe. This is ridiculous. Y'all who is not watching it oh on YouTube, if you were listening, oh you would see my it, goodness. this ridiculous eye roll that Kneecaps. I have right now and his <laughs> laugh and smile on camera is just ridiculous. You are so cheesy, babe. <laughs> and that's why I love you. I love that's you too, babe. You. Thank you, babe. <laughs> You're welcome. Right, that's not a sense of humor. That's Man. right there. Yeah. That's Man, I, I love, love it, it, babe. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so a really big thing about kneecaps as being hats, y'all. You know, when you got some kneecaps, sometimes you have to interpret what it is, like what kind of uh, hat are you wearing when you talking about your legs? Because people's legs go everywhere. You know, your feet can take your legs everywhere. But if you are lost in the woods or wherever it is that you are, especially spiritually, you're going to need someone to interpret the Bible because when you get into it, you're going to want to take your legs elsewhere if it hasn't been going in the direction that God mm. wants you to go down. Mm. All right. So that brings us right into our topic. Your transition. God's interpreter. <laughs> wow. Okay, y'all. God's interpreter. That's the topic for today. Yes. All right. Let's go. Let's just jump right I, into it. I tried it with that segue, yeah. <laughs> but it didn't work. Got it's you. okay. That's no, you did. You always have good transitions. I tried it. I, I tried think you it. did. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> I give you. I give you an A plus for effort. I always do. Yeah. You did good, babe. Thanks, babe. You're Thank welcome. You. <laughs> so yes, let's jump right into it. Um, yep, yep. God's interpreter. So, mm -hmm. the um, Bible verse that we have today um, for our topic is from the book of Corinthians. 1 Corinthians, because there's a 2 Corinthians. Mm -hmm. So 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 12. What we have received is not the spirit of the world, but the spirit who is from God, so that we may understand what God has freely given us. Mm. I love it. I mm -hmm. love that verse. Mm -hmm. I'm going to read that again. What we have received is not the spirit of the world, but the spirit who is from God so that we may understand what God has freely given us. Yeah. Okay. So are you comfortable with the Bible? Many people aren't. Some are intimidated by its size. Others get lost in all the old tra traditions and strange stories. Still others have a hard time understanding the actual words, even in modern translations because the Bible is not like any other book ever written. Some people have a hard time getting into it. God understands the limits of our human minds. He should. He created them. And he really wants us to understand what is in his word. So he sends his Holy Spirit to act as an interpreter for us. The Holy Spirit mm. takes the words of the Bible and translates them in a personal way so, so that we understand not only what they mean, but also how we can use them in our lives. The secret to understanding scripture is to pray before and after you read it. Before you start to read, ask the Holy Spirit to clear your mind of any distractions. Mm -hmm. Ask him to help you focus on the words in front of you. After you read, ask him to help you find ways to use what you read in your daily life. Babe, that is powerful man. right there. It's Literally powerful, just it. it's so effective, powerful. Mm -hmm. and very easy to understand. It is. I like it. Yep, it is. I like it. Yep, absolutely. Um. So our discussion questions that we have, mm -hmm. um, why do some people consider the Bible intimidating or hard to understand? Yeah. Yeah. So I think for, I mean, just speaking from my perspective, it can be not so much of intimidating, but confusing, like mm. with the, the words that it use or mm. some of like just how the different metaphors that's being used throughout the bible it can yeah. be challenging 
to understand. But if you are um, actually seeking God and trying to learn who God is um, as he pertains to your life, um, you're going to do the necessary research to try to break down those different verses or metaphors or scriptures to get an understanding of um, uh, what it is that you don't understand. Because when you're interested in something, you're going to go the extra mile to try to figure out, OK, uh, what am I not understanding? How can I break this down to um, uh, make it easy for me to understand? Mm -hmm. You know, so that's the part I think it can be it can be challenging to understand the right. words that's being used but it can be easy at the same time if right. you're interested right. in learning who god is and right. getting to know god in jesus name um to understand it for yourself right. what about you right um yeah. i i like that babe and i actually agree with that too you know people do say the size of it mm -hmm. and to me that doesn't scare me i've read really big huge lawn books before with many yeah. pages but i think it is the actual not the size of it of the book but it's the content yeah it's the content sure. of of how it is when you can actually probably just start yeah. you know at the beginning of the bible and you can start to read it and you can start to understand it but then when it gets into you know some other chapters of things or other books of the bible that yeah can be a little bit more confusing because it is the language mm -hmm. or um some particular books just have, yes, a lot of metaphors. And yeah. I'm like, are we taking this literally mm -hmm. or what exactly does this mean? Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, I know that there are many, many translations um, of the Bible. There's many different versions of the Bible, mm -hmm. um, you know, that you can look at or you can kind of, you know, uh, have a little study guide on the side or mm -hmm. something, you know, for those questions. So it doesn't seem so hard to understand. Yeah. But I that's think, what I think is yeah. Yeah, the same thing as you said. It's really is the content it comes down to. Yeah. So kind of coming off of that, you you uh, kind of mentioned um, the breakdown of uh, or 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 Bible versions that's a little easier to read. If you mm. was to get it, like one of the uh, Bibles that I read is like the app, the Bible app, mm. and mm. Um, it does have its way even in the actual Bible when you read the Bible, it will start to break it down for you where Jesus will say something to uh, the people that he's teaching to. But in the next paragraph or scripture, um, it'll it'll uh, like echo what Jesus said, but it'll provide a breakdown. So if Jesus said A, B and C, you will come right after that. And the Bible will be like what Jesus was really saying to them is not, you know, um, um, this, but Jesus is saying that mm. kind of like when, um, when, uh, Jesus went to save the, when Jesus went to go wake up the person that was asleep, he had to go to another town when he was talking to his disciples. Um, the disciples was thinking that Jesus was saying that he was going to wake up someone that was like actually sleep. But Jesus really meant that he was going to bring he was going to wake someone up from the dead because the uh, people in the other town was uh, hoping and praying that their brother uh, stayed alive. And mm -hmm. word got back to Jesus saying, hey, Jesus, we, we need for you to come to this town. And that one town was seeking Jesus because they didn't like the works that Jesus was doing and they was going to try to uh, kill him. Or whatever. So Jesus was trying to stay away from that town at first. And I and I believe the town name was Judy, if I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, and but in, anyway, three days went by. They, they ended up burying the uh, brother and everything like that. But uh, word got back to Jesus saying uh, that the town needed him. And Jesus told his disciples, hey, I'm going to go over to Judy um, and I'm going to wake up. Uh, someone and uh, mm. the disciples was trying to get Jesus to not go over there because they would they they knew people was out to get him, and Jesus said, "No, I'll be right back." Well, the disciples had ended up following him to the other town, and he ended up waking that guy up. Mm. But come to find out, if Jesus did not go there and wake up the uh, dead person that was already buried, it was smelly and everything. But he told the sister of the brother that was dead to go in. Uh, roll the rock away and uh, he he had called out the person that was dead and the person came out walking out with things wrapped around his face and everything and um 
but it was a miracle because um, no one has ever seen that. And people was hearing about Jesus and they did not believe who Jesus was until they seen the actual works. So I wouldn't know this stuff if the Bible didn't break it down for me mm. in that uh, way. So to kind of wrap it back to what I'm saying, got you. Uh, the, the Bible will break it down, especially the app. If you got a phone, you want to download the uh, Bible app or whatever it is that you have to do to break it down. Sure. I do a lot of research, too, um, yeah. up on my own outside, out, outside of the Bible app. So you got to do what you have to do to right understand what it is that you don't understand especially if you're interested or you're just getting started because i was one of those person that was really just getting started as an adult to actually read mm -hmm. the bible and learn mm -hmm. who god was sure. for myself and my life right yep i love that babe yeah wow. <laughs> that's i was like so engaged yeah. with that story and yeah i think um that is a wonderful thing is to for the bible app and that really just brings us into our next Discussion question is, what oh, yeah. do you do when you read something you don't understand in the Bible? Oh, there we go. And that's yep. what you had said. So, um, you know, we are very blessed with technology that we have Google and we have the Internet yeah. and we have so many different things that we can just end up looking up mm -hmm. um, something that we don't understand and can do our research. Mm -hmm. And so I kind of want to maybe just look to see for especially people starting out. Yeah. Um, I think wherever you are at in your faith journey, mm -hmm. um, if you haven't even read a single Bible story ever in your life, or maybe you have read the Bible, but you still have questions. If you want to go back to read it, you know, just different things that you want to do to be able to get a great understanding of mm -hmm. the Bible mm -hmm. is um, I kind of then just, just re did some research and said how to interpret the Bible. And of course there's so many different you know, things that people suggest mm -hmm. to do. And mm -hmm. some of them are very simple. So one that I found was really easy. It said, what is a four step process to interpret scripture? That's what they'll sometimes say for like the, um, the words of the Bible of scripture. Um, and it says, use this simple four step Bible study method um, for interpreting scripture is reading, reflecting, responding, and resting in God's word. Mm. This can be applied in your own time with God and in small group Bible study. Mm -hmm. So I think, you know, that sounds pretty easy to do. Yeah. Um, but then again, can be kind of difficult um, because you can say, yeah, I can read and I can reflect, but what exactly am I responding to if mm -hmm. I don't understand it? Mm -hmm. So um, when you read it, this is interesting. This is a is, this is like a little um, kind of a, what would you call it? Like a article. Yeah, this is a good article, but okay. like a, a little activity. Gotcha. Yeah, so when you read God's okay. word, it says, "Have everyone close your eyes. Mm. Say, listen for a word or phrase that you particularly notice as I read the passage out loud. Mm. After the reading, have everyone sit in silence for two to three minutes and say, with your eyes closed, speak the word or phrase you noticed." Mm -hmm. You know, don't worry about others speaking at the same time. So, like, that would be kind of be good. And I bet this is kind of more like when you have Bible studies mm, okay. together, which yeah. is really great. So, then you reflect on God's word. Say, next, say, as I read the passage again, listen for how the content speaks to your life today. Mm, I, I like it. I yeah. like that. Read the passage again, slowly and clearly, followed by two to three minutes of silence. Mm -hmm. After the silence, invite people to share what does the passage mean to you? What did you hear or what are you feeling or thinking? So I think when you're probably reading the Bible yourself, mm -hmm. you can do this too, where like you can read the passage mm -hmm. and you can um, really actually, when you read the passage, probably look at the word that really, or the phrase that really sticks to, out to you for your daily life. Yes. Not for anybody else's, but Correct. for yours. Yeah. And then- you know, you read the passage again, that's reflected now, listen for how the content speaks to your life today Yeah. and then read it again. And then you can ask yourself these questions. What does the passage mean to me? Mm -hmm. What does it mean to me? What did I hear? What am I feeling? What am I thinking about it? Mm -hmm. And then responding to God's word, um, you know, saying as you read the passage again, listen to how you might respond. Mm -hmm. So read it um, silently, slowly. Um, you can have people, so yourself, say a small pair of response. Um, sometimes you'll hear profound, life-changing words. Someone's challenged or affirmed. Sometimes nothing happens. Mm -hmm. All of this is normal. So just how you would respond to what that passage means for your daily life. Mm -hmm. And then resting in God's word. And you can read the passage again and then say, you know, 
for you to receive these words and rest in Jesus truth. And so I really like that. It's the four R's of Bible study. Mm. It's reading, reflecting, responding, and resting in God's word. Yep. So, you know, maybe when you do read and you reflect and you can be struggling to come up with a response, just know that asking God, I think, again, going to prayer, because mm -hmm. we will, I think, lead everything back, back to prayer, mm -hmm. is if there's something that you don't understand, mm -hmm. sit and pray, it said before mm -hmm. and after, mm -hmm. pray before and say, God, you know, I may not know what I'm reading, mm -hmm. I'm trying. And I'm asking for you to just guide me today and give me some understanding, your understanding. Yeah. Um, and because we're not going to lean on our own understanding, mm -hmm. but lean on God's understanding and that he will guide you to, you know, open up your eyes to what you are reading, mm -hmm. um, that it may be difficult to understand. So, um, and you may not get it all in that one day that you're reading or moment you're reading or you mm -hmm. sit down to read for 30 minutes and think i'm really going to dive into this and i really can't wait but you can find yourself becoming because i found myself as i've read before the bible mm -hmm. frustrated along the oh, way yeah. or challenged yeah. or feeling uncomfortable yeah. or feeling in a way we're like how come i can't get this yeah like this is this is a book this is words that i feel like i should get like I have a college degree. Yeah. Like I may not be the smartest person ever, but I feel like I have at least enough knowledge yeah. to actually understand this and things can just blow yeah. right, right over my mind. So yeah. really, I think, um, yes, reading the Bible when you pray and just ask and say, I may not understand it, but just keep continuing to guide me. And I think in that, then in that moment, then don't give up. Mm -hmm. It can be so easy to push the Bible then to the side and say, Nope, it's too hard for me to understand. I'm not interested. I don't want to do it because it really is out of your comfort zone. And yeah. we tend to stay within our comfort zone mm -hmm. and say and give up too easy when things are too hard and things are too difficult. Mm -hmm. So um, it can be intimidating. Mm -hmm. I completely understand when people say, oh, I, you know, it's too hard for me to understand or it's too, you know, it's too much or you know, and, and so, um, yeah, those are kind of some of the ways mm -hmm. that you can, you know, kind of get through it. There's other ways too. Um, if you want me to go over those two real okay. quick, I think I'm just going on and on. Okay. <laughs> kind of babbling a bit <laughs> can okay. happen sometimes. So, but at the, at the end of the day, uh, you know, once you just get started, you're going to yeah. automatically be reading and reflecting and if you're already interested you're going to do the research that you need to do on your own just like you research to come here on youtube or just like you research to learn whatever it is that you truly are interested in yeah. if you are truly interested in uh learning god or because of whatever the case may be uh, you're going to be learning in your own unique way but i think it's very important to do what babe just said pray before Mm -hmm. And after you um, do some s research on hearing or learning what God word is for you. And some right. of the stuff is going to be confusing. It is going to seem a little challenging to grasp. But I guarantee you, when you start, you're going to automatically reflect back on something in your life that's going to connect with you from some of the stories that's in the Bible. All of the stories uh, has its own unique story. But one thing that is the same is that every person in the Bible that I've read so far had to do some work that uh, Jesus told them to do before they received their blessing. Mm. Just look at whatever story you feel like you want to look at. They still was required to do some work. And a lot of those works was a very what may seem from the outside a easy task to just do because we're looking in from the outside. But to them in the in the story, they probably felt like, man, that was a challenging task or man, I went through all of this. And now you're telling me that all I have to do is A, B and C to get the blessing. And they they are probably like, I don't I don't believe it. But then when they actually listened 
to God and uh, Jesus. Jesus is God and God is Jesus. Mm -hmm. um, and they did what they told them to do, something that was so simple. They received a blessing that was so much greater than what they was even expecting or even asking for. So that can like connect with us, yourselves. Uh, you know, God is probably speaking to you right. God is speaking to you right now. You just mm -hmm. need to be patient and wait on God's response. If God is telling you to continue along the path, continue doing what uh, you are doing, do it one more time. You know, uh, don't um, don't not do it one more time because of the. Uh, challenges that you've gone through or you tried it so many times or you did this or you did that. You just have to uh, do what God is asking you to do and receive the blessings as you continue following God and learning who God is as you continue uh, getting into the Bible, because that's where God's word is. Like like we right now, we don't we don't have the Bible when we're doing this. Um, um, YouTube or podcast right now, like we're looking at something totally different, but it's getting us into the Bible because we're mm. being introduced to scriptures and on my own right now, like I get into the actual Bible. Had we not found a way to get into the Bible, remember doing a little something is better than a whole lot of nothing. Right. That little something of getting into the Bible something that wasn't the Bible, but it was bringing scriptures towards us, helped helped us, helped me to get actually into the Bible to learn about God. So doing a little something can also be a big something. And right. that little something right now with that, uh, when I compare how I got into the Bible, how we got into the Bible, that wasn't the Bible, but we just got the little scriptures brought back to us. And now we're in the Bible. Like that's a huge step. And it can be the same thing for you. You just got to find out what works for you and pray before and after so that you can understand, like babe was telling you, what God wants you to get from the scriptures, his word as it pertains to your life so that you can start walking down the path in Jesus name that they want you to walk down. Right. Yeah, because your path is already outlined for you. Right. You just got to um, be patient, be still and um, continue to pray. Pray until something happens. Right. Right. Yeah, Absolutely. I like it. <laughs> right. I love it, babe. That's good. Okay, that's good. That's good. <laughs> Did you want to cover your stuff or are you, you? Oh, no, yeah. I'm good. Oh, okay. Like, it's okay. kind of like the same things of what you, Got were, you. Like, just said. So I was Got like, you. Okay. man, you already uh, like, read my mind. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> you yeah. did. Yeah. So. Okay. All right. Well, good. Yeah. It doesn't have to be a scary thing. And I, I want everybody to know it's, it, an exciting thing. Yes. That's what I think. Like you just want to dive into it. Yeah. Um, and like I said, I've become frustrated along the way or feeling uncomfortable or feeling like it was just kind of overwhelming in a way. But it's like you don't have to cover it all in one day, obviously. And you can just take your time um, and just as long as I feel like you're, yeah, doing the effort. It's the little yeah. bit of something. Yes. And it's one of those where it's like God knows your heart, especially when you ask him. Yeah. For for the help and for the guidance. Yeah. Um, and before you do it and after. Then it's like and just saying to him, God, I don't know what yeah. I'm doing. I yeah. may not know what I'm doing, but at least I'm trying so hard to have that relationship with you and to like try to understand what you were trying to tell us. Yeah. So please guide me and and yeah. Mm -hmm. Ask and you shall receive. Like it. Like it. <laughs> so we're gonna actually get into the prayer. Okay. And then we're going to come back and we're going to give whatever it is that we are having challenges with to God so that we can be, you know, helped in a way to uh, become, start moving even closer than what we are today towards his word and where he want to guide us. Sounds good. All right. <laughs> okay. So dear God, thank you for giving us your Holy Spirit to help us understand your word. Give us the wisdom to understand scripture and use it in our daily lives. Amen. Amen. Woo, mm -hmm. It's almost like you don't need no prayer after that. Yeah, right. That was it. That like seal I like seal. it. I like it. All right, y'all. So we're going to take like one minute to ask God because so many distractions happen throughout the week. Um, or are we so busy throughout our day to day? We don't take the time to ask God for help. Uh, you know, if this is something that you are asking for help for, one is getting more to the Bible or actually learning or figuring out what God's uh, plan or word is for you. How can you relate God's word to your life 
Let's take this time and ask for that and know that God is going to show up for you. You just got to be patient. Patient mm -hmm. is such a huge component of your spark. So we're going to take a minute in three, two, one, and let's do it. All right, y'all, we back. So we're going to get into the prayer. Um, I hope you gave everything to God. So now it's your responsibility to uh, remain patient and let God and Jesus do their work. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, dear God, thank you so much for bringing us here today on uh, Spark Prayer to um, just connect with you in a way that um, that's unique to us. Um, helping us to just being there, being present. Um, you have your way of uh, connecting with us in so many different areas and or platforms. Thank you for staying connected with, with us and uh, being able to uh, just keep us connected, um, especially when times are, when times can get challenging. Uh, help us to just move even closer to you, God, and help us to get more into your word because your word is what you want all of us to learn and uh, seek and follow, God. Um, help us to move even closer every single day, um, even if it's doing a little something, because we believe a little something is better than a whole lot of nothing. Uh, thank you for meeting us where we are, no matter where we are, no matter what we've done and to help guide us in a direction that you know is closest or even um, right next to the path that you want us to go down. Um, help us to uh, showcase um, what we've learned by sharing uh, the knowledge that you want us to share with others um, that's closest to us or that's not even closest to us. Uh, help us be an example of what you want your children to be. Um, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, y'all. This one was, this is something that we could go on for oh, yeah. hours and hours and hours. Right. Absolutely. Time is rolling, though. Like, yes. it's crazy. Yes. Yep. Um, so we have, we hope y'all have an amazing night, yes. amazing day, no matter where you are. Central yep. time, <laughs> Eastern time. Yeah. Whatever the time Everybody is. Everybody all over the place. Yeah. So. Spark stands for <laughs> <laughs> smiles, pride, patience, attitude, accountability, respect, and knowledge. Hey, y'all, uh, y'all know you don't have a strong spark or can't even see a light at the end of that tunnel or don't even know that you even got a spark without a strong faith in God in Jesus' name. All right. Love y'all. Peace. Peace. <laughs>